that this is what Nassim Haramein explains, that every level, atom, molecule, Planck scale, galaxy, universe, human body, every level shares the exact same core basic structure. And if you align yourself with that structure, at the greatest levels of you and the biggest levels, you create fluid, curving, flowing energy. This is how you create divine harmony in every aspect of life. And when you step into divine harmony with all of the atoms and the molecules and the consciousness around you, you in essence become a central point in the field. You command it, you're able to move it. You use structure to move it inner structure instead of forcing. When you get the closest to source, you move to a place where you supersede the bad guys, meaning all of the evil people in the world, the Illuminati, the deep state, the dark forces, the, the reckless politicians, the crazy celebrities, all of it. At a high enough resonant frequency, all of that dissolves into pure light. And behold, it's just perfect. It is exactly the way that it's supposed to be because that's how it is. And it's what we've all created. But as a part of the source field, you recognize that your soul is a creator of what is happening. You're creating your own reality. We are creating our own reality. And you can create any reality that you want to when you know in your heart that God is love. True divine love, not easily understood by a normal conceptual human pettiness. What is love? Can we learn this from Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Can they teach us this lesson? Can they both agree to go to Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica and drink the sacred ayahuasca brew? Can we ask that these two beautiful souls heal their hearts, merge with their soul and discover who they've become? and create the most miraculous of healings and a, a testament to the power of sacred medicine, that it opens a portal to God, one of many ways to do so. Meditation, prayer, fasting, loving each and every day, loving yourself, loving others, when we bring virtue to ourselves in full, we cannot help but to do it to absolutely everyone around us. And if we're not doing it for everyone around us, then we're not doing it for our fullness of self. Because the inside reflects the outside and we are all points of consciousness, points of conscious light given individual bodies and disconnected from the awareness of the infinite light that is shared between us. 